College, Pennsylvania, 95,000 plus will be on hand to watch their beloved Penn State Nittany Lions play host to the Northern Illinois Huskies. Hi, everybody. I'm Wayne Larrabee along with Randy Wright. Good to have you with us for Big Ten football this afternoon. And, Randy, this is one of the great venues of college football, isn't it? Absolutely, Wayne. Whether you're a fan tailgating in the parking lot or a student sitting in the stands or a player on the field, it's great to be a part of Big Ten football, and Northern Illinois gets an opportunity today to experience that. And on the tee, Dion Mitchell on the far side of your picture. On the left and on the uh, near or right side, Leon Moody back deep to receive for the Huskies. And we're underway. Dion Mitchell backed up five yards deep and takes the advice of his teammate and stays in the end zone with it. And it's a first down out of the 20-yard line. Barker to the air. And he's got his man, the wide receiver, over the middle and making that... Penn State Nittany Lions, Brandon Noble up front, leads the charge on that front line. He's a senior. Linebacker U is what they call this place. Aaron Collins has had an outstanding start to his season thus far. And in the secondary, Brian Miller, the most decorated of the Nittany Lions. First down off a gain of 11 at the 31-yard line for Northern Illinois. They have scripted the first 15 offensive plays here this afternoon. And Barker again to throw, and again he's got his man. Did he make the catch? Yes, Leon Moody was able to hang up. Third down for Northern Illinois, about three yards to go. Florence, the running back with a good spin move, is pulled down just short of the first down. Florence, did he get it? Very close, but I'm not sure he made the 41-yard line. Pilardi, the linebacker, filled in quickly. And they are going to... Barker is the one to watch number three this afternoon. Good quickness. This is first down, Barker. Not sure if it was a quarterback draw or a busted one. Great crowd, great tradition here. And I said the big thing, I think, for our kids is to come in here and just have a good time. Come on in. Fourth down, the quick call again. Florence, Florence driving forward, very close to the first down. Collins hit him initially and tried to yank the football out of there, but Scott Florence, the senior out of New Brighton, Pennsylvania. He's the local connection, the Pennsylvania connection on the Northern Illinois squad, and he's got another first down. Converts on two fourth down runs. Great job by Florence. On first down of the Penn State 49. Tally trying to bounce to the outside. Second and 11. Barker. Nearly intercepted, knocked down by Snyder, the defense deep in single safety for Penn State. Herring's going to let this one go, and into the end zone it goes, and the Nittany Lions. And Wally Richardson now appears on the field for the first time this afternoon. Richardson, the senior, out of Sumter, South Carolina. We opened up the show talking about the lack of production that Penn State has gotten out of that quarterback position, not Richardson's fault. The Wheaties lineup, Curtis Enos leads the skilled position players off to a great start running the football. Take a look at the rest of the Wheaties lineup. Barry Telsch is the one experienced returning starter on the Penn State revamped offensive line. Slowed and Everly, the backfield tandem for Penn State. Enos did not get the start here this afternoon. Second and nine. Richardson on play action. For the wide receiver, Jonah Stasi for a first down out of the 35-yard line. Everly. Good move to get out across the 45. It has a first down near the 49-yard state at the Nittany Lion 49. The play action Everly. Richardson over the top to Jervicius. Hawthorne interfered apparently near the 15-yard line. At the time, they had Northern Illinois tied up in man-to-man -man coverage. They completed one and got an interference call on another. Fumble by Everly. Covered by Northern Illinois. This is Steven trying to take it back the other way. And Wally Richardson brings him down. Richardson. Barker has protection. Pass was off the mark. Collins took down the receiver, Rashawn Smith, on the near sidelines, and it is a fourth down for Northern Illinois. Well, that's... Take a look. Take listen a, to that. Listen to that hit down there. We've seen hitting going on on both sides of the ball. Jim Herring. 
makes a good move to the 45 and gets Penn State great field position inside the Husky 40 yard line. He's around the ball all the time. Second and 10. Mitchell picking his way and Cordell Mitchell down there. There he tells the center and here comes Wally Richardson. A little swing pass to Cordell Mitchell. Good play out on the flank made by Houston. Big hole opens up here for Aaron Harris. Harris and Mitchell are backfield team. This is Harris. Just open up, nobody there. Great job by Mitchell blocking. Then you see Jurevich is pushing his defender into the end of the 20-yard line for the Huskies of Northern Illinois. Barker from behind, Fornato on the tackle. Matt Fornato, the junior from forced Barker to hold on to the ball. Fornato coming in, he steps up right there, just doesn't get rid of it, tries to run. Nice job by Fornato, still fighting off the block. Maybe the hardest worker of all of them. Second and long. Mitchell, a man in motion. Blitz is on. Halley tried a high step through it. Quick give to Chambers. Good move up the middle, and Chambers close to the first down. The punt unit is on. Baker. It's a high kick away into the sun. Herring with a mark. Not by much. It doesn't take much to for an incompletion. Mitchell. Holding Ingram now with the Chicago Bears. Freddie Scott was the other wide receiver here. Mitchell breaking free. Good to 31. Good move by Mitchell in the backfield. Mitchell down to the 19. A real big game. Cordell Mitchell knows what he's doing out there. Rushed for over 4,000 yards in his high school career. First down, Penn State of the 19. Richardson under a blitz. Good throw. Jarvis is touchdown. Little slant pattern run by Jurevicius. I believe he did it inside the coverage of the linebacker Smith, Randy, and that popped wide open. He fakes to the right, he turns, he knows, and he just whips it right there. Nice job by Jurevicius to hold on to that ball. She saw Damian Mallory too far off of Jurevicius to really changing the play at the line. Lawrence just trying to go wide. Waiting for his blocking, and then he has gobbled up at the line. Right, of but they don't have the speed at the tailback position to outrun those linebackers. Barker, quick throw over the middle, trying to hit the mix. Second down. Jurevich is in the flat. One on one with Hawthorne. Stiff arms his way by him. Still on his feet. Good move around Hester and down to the 40 yard line. Will Ford's receivers make the play. Little quick screen out here to the wideout, just a one man screen, and let him go one on one with a cornerback that's 10 yards off of him. We talked earlier about missed tackles. Look at all these missed tackles on Northern Illinois' part. Already seen three or four, and to top it off, there's the penalty. They're going to get the penalty right there, which is going to tack yards on for Inside the 35 of the Huskies, Champion Fields. Good cutback move to the backfield tandem behind Richardson. Harris, first down and more. Aaron Harris on second down. Aaron Harris. Still on his feet. To the doorstep. Slow to the fullback in motion. Fields follows his blocking. To the end zone for the touchdown. Again, he went behind Phil Ostrowski. Good nothing. You see it coming right at you here. Great block by Olsimer, the tight end, clearing out that linebacker. Happy Valley, the foothill of Mount Nittany. And that, by the way, is not Mount Nittany. That's the uh, local ski area of these parts. We'll get you Mount Nittany before the day is done. But 95,000 come in here to Beaver Stadium to watch the Penn State Nittany Lions. And they started the first drive, went into Penn State territory. But since then, they've come up empty. Barker to the air, being rushed by Snyder. Barker better get rid of it. He loses it. Picked up by Tate. Touchdown, Penn State. Well, that's how the route happens. Feel as a quarterback where the pressure is coming from. Barker knows it's coming from the right. He comes out to his left. 
You have to tuck that ball away when you make the commitment to run. Tuck it under your arm. That way it's not hanging out there in your hand and somebody from behind can make that swap and knock the ball loose. First down for Northern Illinois. Now a little option. Barker keeps it himself. And the option and closes. Chambers are the running backs and Barker on second and 11. Nice throw over the middle. Fumbled by the wide receiver Leon Moody. Recovered on the play by Penn State. Prater made the hit. And it's a you see Shino Prater here, man to man, just following him down. He sees the pass come down there, comes up, just wraps his arm around there, knocks it right out of Moody's hands as a receiver. receiver to the top of your screen. Fields gets the call up the middle. Nice spin move. Third down. Wide open, Jason Slow. Got a good block off the flank by the wide receiver. Long count by Richardson. Jackie Fields. Touchdown. Five to nothing over Northern Illinois. Jeffy Fields, a redshirt freshman from Philadelphia, smells Pater. First down out of the 27-yard line. Brandon Barker at the swing pass out to Charles Three. Deflected up by Courtney Brown. Ooh, Mandel Hester makes his presence felt on that attempt by Cordell May. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Lost a three on that. This is a 15-yard play they need. And they've got sliding grab Corey Jones on the pass from Mike McQuarrie. McQuarrie on play action. And he's got the first down. Good second effort. Anthony Cleary, a third down. About 10. McQuarrie may have to get it himself. Mendel Hester makes the stop. Ebby Parson, time running down to this first half. Florence going wide. Once again, Nelson responds. Tally is the up back in the eye. There's the play action in Barker. Quick swing, and that's Tally on the flank. He's got a first down. Time now for Brandon Barker. Barker going over the top. Got the man open, Rashawn Smith. 20 seconds to go, first half. Second down, Barker. Mitchell, look to the sideline. And Barker looking to the short side of the field. And he's got his tight end, Reed, Bobby Reed, the sophomore out of Oaklawn, Illinois. Clint Cease, the defensive end, came over on the coverage. And it is fourth down. They're calling the field goal unit on. As time expires in this uh, first half. So Northern Illinois, without any timeouts, unable to get the field goal unit on the field in time. And let's send it down to the field and Jim Barber. A couple of penalties against Northern Illinois. Time of possession. Uh, Northern Illinois did a good job early holding on to the football on their first drive of the game. And NIU, that's where they got most of their yards was on that first drive, 14 play drive. Since then, they really haven't done an awful lot, and they haven't been able to keep their defense off the field. And here is the boot, and it's taken by Cordell Mitchell near the goal line. Mitchell trying to follow his blocking. Picks his way. Across the 30 Thank you, Joe. Hey, Back to you, Wayne. Mike McQuarrie on second down. Joe Nastasi diving grab. First down of the 49. Nastasi on third down and 10 from the 49. This is Mike McQuarrie. Play action. McQuarrie and a man wide open right through the hands of Cuncho. Brown, as a sophomore, you got to wait your turn. Daryl Kenya's punt to Leon Moody. Fair catch signal Back made. into the rhythm. Option. Tally. Nowhere. Matter negative yardage on that play. On one, he does not follow the receiver down. He reads the play, doesn't follow him down. When you've got nobody blocking Miller like that, he sees the option. He's got his pitch back. Third and long. This is the fullback, Mike Stanton. The query to the air. Joe Vicious wide open. Just broke ahead of the field. And Penn State leads it 41 to nothing. Tough 
to expect that guy to cover wide receiver one-on-one. -on -one. Great protection. McQuarrie does a nice job putting a lot of air into the ball. Throws it right up front at Jurevicius, and he has got a good four or five yards on Patrick Steven. It's, it's free safety, and you know one of your receivers is running a post route. Your eyes get big, you just get excited and hope that that receiver gives you an angle to throw the ball. Jurevicius did a nice job there setting up Steven. Here comes Talent. Gets the block from Chambers, the fullback out of the flank, and Talent still right long here. Here comes Talley again, this time nothing doing or not a lot. They so it'll be fourth down. Joe Novak was not bashful about going for it on fourth down in the first quarter. Fourth at about a yard to go. Straight T formation. And the keeper by the quarterback, Brendan Barker, and he believe he's got the first down. You have a lot of changes in Northern Illinois' offensive line. They lost three to graduation. They had a couple of guys hurt. They moved the backup guard, put him at center. Done all kinds of different things. Well, I thought they had a first down, but he did not get as generous a spot of the ball. Jones was in motion, and here comes Harris again, plowing close to the first down. Cordell Mitchell. First down to the 46. The back is carrying the ball. A little more room to run. McQuarrie. Rills his wide receiver, Chris Campbell, for a first down. Form very well from the very beginning. You see here, McQuarrie, plenty of time. Good strong arm throw right to the sideline. And right as Campbell catches that on the previous play, you saw the pass to Campbell. With the tailback, Cordell Mitchell fumbled the football on the hit by Mandel Hester. And Northern Illinois says they got it. And in fact, they do. And Barker's pass nearly picked off by Mike Buzz in a defensive side of disconcerting, wouldn't it? Out of the eye. Talley trying to get to the outside. Against Baker. It's off a shallow punt. Chris Campbell at the 42. Campbell out near the beneath was to see them turn around and applaud the NIU Jazz. Yeah, it was great. You know, uh, I was very honored last year. My successor, Ron Carter, gave a concert in my honor. And Joe is in two upstairs, Wayne and Randy. Chappy Fields, still on his feet, and tight rope the field. Cleary, to the end zone, for the touchdown. So Anthony Cleary gets the call from six yards out. I think they're just worn down right now. You see this from ground level. This is what it looks like if you're a cornerback trying to come up and make the tackle. Doesn't look very inviting. So a good blocking, good job of sealing off the entire team. Changed the attitude in the heart of the kid. And I think, I agree with you, this kid has played very, very hard today. I think he's got to be very pleased with that. Rashawn Smith almost lost it. Long count by Kenneth Williams. Scott Florence, boy, they were waiting for him. The slot set up to the bottom. Deion Mitchell in the slot. Kenneth Williams going over the top. Leon Moody pass off the mark. Close does not have to schedule the schedule to Calb on the road in the future. Penn State off a holding penalty. Backed up, and Chris Everly gets the call. An undefeated season, so you can't afford to risk that in the non-conference. Nixon on the carry. Jeff Nixon may have lost the football, and the Huskies say they will win. Second and five. Tally to the line of scrimmage. No play. Play action and Williams on the roll being chased by Clint Cease. Penalty marker down. Going to be a hold on Northern Illinois. Brian Clark for a 43-yard field goal. Shut out at stake here. to 3-0 here this afternoon. Anthony Clark. Oh, opens up over the middle in this relationship. They're very close brothers. In fact, as it turns out, though, Paterno, speaking of George, is quite close. Football out near the 43. And here comes Nixon. He's got a first down and more to the Northern yes. Illinois Territory. It's straight ahead move. The middle, not a whole lot there. As Mike Johnson, the tailback, got the call on the final play of the game. So, the final. Joe Paterno's Nittany Lions win it over Joe Novak and North.
Northern Illinois, 49 to nothing. Here is our Dodge play of the game brought to you by the new Dodge. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. And take a look at it again. Brandon Barker on the roll, stripped from behind by Chris Snyder, picked up by Mark Tate. He rambles into the end zone from 21 yards away, and that is our new Dodge play of the game. <laughs> Spoken like a true football coach who just won a ball game 49 to nothing. <laughs> Lots to worry about. We'll be right back.